and meet is Rachel. I am a free enterprise and cheap programs manager at the Dr. Pepper Museum, and I've been making videos all about how to make your own victory garden at home using recycled materials like bottles. Uh, today we're using our very last activity uh, where we get to make a, a cute pot or a cute planter um, that hopefully when something grows out of it, it'll look like some really funky hair. Um, and so uh, we've done this before at the museum in one of our pop-up Saturdays and it was really fun. Um, so get out any paint you have, stickers, glitter glue, or just markers, um, googly eyes, things like that, um, so that you can make this really awesome uh, pot with uh, some personality and so um, you're going to need a bottle that you cut in half so I've already cut mine in half because again I'm not very good at doing it delicately so I've cut it in half already um, and then this is actually a one liter bottle you can use any size bottle to do it with uh, and we're going to use the bottom half today but you can actually use the top half uh, to make a hanging planter you just poke holes in it and then hang it by some string and you can hang it somewhere in your home um, on a fence line, on things like that. But uh, right now we're just gonna use the bottom. You could also use the top uh, as a scoop for your dirt. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and use this one though. And I'm gonna use just a Sharpie, there it is, uh, to put a cute little face on my plant. So, and I'm gonna make a soda jerk today. I'm gonna get this eye, oh, that's great you guys. He's really happy. A soda jerk is the person who makes the soda. Uh, they're not mean people, that's just their job title. So that's your uh, fun fact for the day. They're named for the action they make when they make the soda, jerking it back and forth. And so I ate soda jerk today. Um, and so I have my little face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make him a shirt. Now I've already done this in advance. Um, and so I used some construction paper to make him a little outfit. So, got his little shirt. He looks very sophisticated, his little red polo. And I'm gonna give him a, a nice visor. Um, now, <laughs> you can be as crafty or as much or as little as you would like for your plant. Uh, this is actually an outfit that I've made before. Um, so I knew how to make it for him. I knew that it would work and that I liked it. And so. Um, you can do whatever you would like to decorate yours though. It can have a face, it can not, but remember we do want it to grow some plant out of it. So, um, that didn't work. I'm trying to seal his little hat on with some tape, but it can just sit there nicely. So, um, let me bring this up here so you can see him. Very cute, right? Yes. Uh, this is the old uniform. We now have a, uh, snazzy new crew. Uh, outfit at the soda fountain, so, um, but it is frosty still. Uh, so now I'm gonna be adding soil to it. I'm gonna have some in my little cup, and then a little more. Uh, you wanna add the soil to where you want his hair to come up. So um, for me, his little face is so high that I'm gonna need to make sure that I fill up my cup pretty much all the way. All right, now I'm going to need some seeds. I have picked cilantro because that's something I actually use in my kitchen all the time and it would be so nice to have some of this fresh herb uh, to put in my food because cilantro for some reason, oh, it's so bad, so fast. Um, and so I hope, also I think this could be some really fun hair. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, covering it up a little bit, it's a weird stick. All right, so I made that one, um, and I did make another one earlier because I saw a lot of uh, pots like this that looked like little animals, and I thought that was so cute, maybe a bunny rabbit for Easter or a cat. Um, and then I actually made my dog, where, where are you? Hey. Her name is Ellie, she's very cute. Um, and so I, uh, I made it so that I could show off her cute ears. So uh, my puppy dog does have some really, really nice ears. She's so cute. Um, and so I wanted the ears to really pop out on my pot. I need you in a pot. So um, I cut them out. So um, if you want to make a rabbit or a cat, you may want to cut the ears out. That way they stand out. What do you think? What do you think? You look good? Yeah? I think she likes it. Okay, so now we're going to be adding dirt. Uh, to that one as well, and some more seeds. 
Um, and we'll see just, okay, kind of just tearing something up. Maybe that's a bad sign, maybe she doesn't like it. Uh, so uh, this time around, I'm not gonna fill it up quite as much, just because I kind of want to see if that makes a difference at all. Um, you can always make these things better by putting some kind of uh, rock um, or rocks at the bottom. That way the water has somewhere to drain. Um, because these don't have a drain, I'm going to need to be very careful to make sure that I'm not overwatering my plant. Um, if it does have a drain, still be careful, but it uh, won't you know, get too gross. So I'm going to add just a little bit more soil. Um, I hope they grow and then they have some fabulous hair. Uh, please, please, please do this at home. Have some fun. Make a family member or um, somebody you miss seeing and send them a picture of it. Um, that way we can have a wonderful garden at home. So uh, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, please stay tuned on our Facebook page for all the other types of education that we're doing um, from our homes for the Dr. Pepper Museum. Um, and I hope you stay safe um, and healthy during this time. So, with that, dog's staring at me really up. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, with that, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.